Is there a way to make stimulants feel super strong again and basically make you feel like you've had a big break from let's say for example caffeine or nicotine and you just want to be able to feel the effects just like day one. That is what we'll uncover in today's video and we'll dive deep into a special compound known as memantine and we'll take a look at how this particular compound can restore the spark and the energizing effects of various stimulant drugs. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas, the founder of Boost Your Biology, and my mission is to bring you the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So please subscribe down below and hit that like button as it does really help with the YouTube algorithm. So you're probably wanting to know now what is memantine and how can memantine possibly help to make you feel more sensitive to stimulants again? Well, memantine is an uncompetitive antagonist of the NMDA subtype of glutamate receptors in the central nervous system. Now, Alzheimer's disease is believed to be caused and one of the major causes of Alzheimer's disease is potentially by the overstimulation of glutamate the primary excitatory amino acid in the central nervous system, resulting in excitotoxicity and neuronal degeneration. So the NMDA receptor is a voltage-gated cation channel that in the physiological unstimulated state is blocked by magnesium ions. So this is something you need to, I guess, understand early on is memantine does share some degree of similarities with magnesium particularly magnesium l 3 or magtein does have the ability to penetrate the blood-brain barrier more effectively than various other forms of magnesium. And this is perhaps one of the neuroprotective mechanisms behind how which we see magnesium performing to actually stave off cognitive decline. Now, this stimulated magnesium is displaced allowing calcium influx and activation. And in Alzheimer's disease, there is pathological overstimulation of the receptor, causing it to be in a chronically active state. And memantine helps to counteract this excessive stimulation. You will see this linked down below in the video description if you do want to purchase memantine. Now, memantine also has or also exhibits antagonistic activity of the serotonin type 3, the 5-HT3 serotonin receptor and nicotinic acetylcholine receptors. It has no affinity to the GABA, benzodiazepine, dopamine, adrenergic, histamine, or glycine receptors, or for voltage-dependent calcium, sodium, or potassium channels. So the real question is, can memantine restore the spark? Or can memantine potentially make you more sensitive to stimulant drugs, just like you've had a massive break and you tried it again on day one? Now this Reddit thread, again, this is anecdotal, although I do like the working mechanisms and theory behind this. But a thread here was titled Memantine, Stimulant Tolerance Obliterated. The user said, I picked up some memantine in hopes of reducing my tolerance to stimulants and smooth out the negative effects that manifest during the come down. I'm not sure of the exact mechanism of tolerance reduction, but apparently NMDA antagonists are known to do this. Along with other benefits such as antidepressant and anxiolytic effects, so far, this experiment has been amazing for me. To give you some background, I've been using NDRIs, so noradrenaline dopamine reuptake inhibitors, isopropyl phenidate, 2 fluoroamphetamine to help with motivation and focus at work. At first, everything was great. I had lots of motivation, increased energy, focus, and sociability. But after a while, the positive effects were almost non-existent and the negative effects replaced them. I started to feel anxious, antisocial, depressed, only while on the stimulants and didn't feel motivated to work. The come downs were also horrid. Then I took a four milligram dosage of memantine. Wow, the effects of the memantine itself was barely noticeable and it's so subtle that it would be hard to describe. However, the reduction in stimulant tolerance was amazing. The first day of dosing, I had one cup of coffee, but it felt like I had at least three. I was able to focus at work all day and finished all of my tasks very quickly with a lot of motivation. It didn't even feel the need to take these medications that day to focus at work 
His baseline level of anxiety was also reduced along with a nice slight boost in mood. He said that he happily greeted every coworker he saw where normally he would just keep to himself. And he said, I can see how memantine could be used to treat ADHD and depression. The next day I dosed another three milligrams in the morning. I didn't feel the need to take a stimulant stronger than caffeine, but I wanted to see if my tolerance to two fluoroamphetamine was reduced. And then he said, so I dosed 20 milligrams of two fluoroamphetamine and wow, it was like I took two FA or two fluoroamphetamine for the first time. The original euphoria wasn't as strong, but the stimulation, motivation, and sociability were back. So this is pretty incredible. We're seeing a prescription medication, memantine, utilized to improve or reverse stimulant tolerance and bring back the spark. Um, this is pretty phenomenal effects. And we see this with other NMDA antagonists. Another example is actually ketamine, although it doesn't work in the exact same fashion as memantine. This is what I hypothesize to be the mechanism of action as far as how memantine can actually facilitate this effect. It's due to the uncompetitive antagonism of the NMDA receptor, which is a sort of volume control that will help with tolerance since amphetamines and other dopaminergic compounds increase extracellular levels of glutamate in the nucleus accumbens and the ventral tegmental area leading to hyper excitation. Now the efflux of glutamate then leads to down regulation of these D2, dopamine D2 and D3 receptors, which are responsible for the mood enhancing effects of these drugs. So this is potentially one of the key mechanisms by which how memantine can restore the spark. Some other benefits associated with memantine uh, include it's an improved medication for Alzheimer's symptoms. It's reported to improve cognition in patients with dementia and Alzheimer's. Memantine can improve cognitive processes and health state, thus increasing daily activity. Memantine is also a valuable drug for people struggling with addictions. And besides that, memantine can also be helpful for treating agitation and also hallucinations. Now with the typical dosage ranges, anywhere from 2.5 milligrams to 10 milligrams per day. However, there are some major warnings and precautions before using this particular medication. It has genitourinary conditions, so genitourinary, so any sort of like urinary disorders or conditions that raise urine pH, any uh, cardiovascular diseases potentially because it increased the incidence of cardiovac cardiac failure, angina and hypertension, hepatic enlargement, so or impairment, so any sort of liver disorders, please stay away. And also obviously be sure to consult with your doctor before using memantine. So that pretty much wraps up the video on memantine. Can memantine potentially help to restore the spark as like a, a weekly resetter? Potentially, um, we've been discussing all these sorts of stacks and compounds in the Limitless program. You will see that linked down below in the video description. If you want to learn more about all these fancy stacks to help improve your motivation, cognition, performance, physical, mental, and just improve your overall uh, quality of life. Otherwise guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.